When asked, who is the richest person in the world? Or who is the most wealthy individual in history? We are prone to think of someone from our own era. Elon Musk, the founder of Twitter, SpaceX, and Tesla? Or Jeff Bezos, the CEO of Amazon? Or Mark Zuckerberg, the founder of Meta? Or Bill Gates, the founder of Microsoft, are the first names that come to mind. However, none of these billionaires is the correct answer. Many people were surprised to learn that the richest guy in the world lived between 1280 and 1337 BC. His name was Mansa Musa, and he was the emperor of Mali, with an empire that stretched from Nigeria to the coast of Senegal. Mansa Musa ascended to power in 1312 BC, following the death of the previous monarch, Abu Bekr II, at sea. Mansa Abu Bekr II had set out with a great fleet of ships to explore the Atlantic Ocean, but he had never returned. And as a result, Mansa Musa inherited a wealthy kingdom. His fortune resulted from the discovery of huge salt and gold reserves in the Mali Kingdom. Another significant source of riches was elephant ivory. Mansa Musa's fortune, if adjusted for current inflation, would be the greatest in human history, according to Celebrity Net Worth magazine. Mansa Musa's prosperity stems from his ability to possess as much gold as he desired. Adjusted for inflation, the overall wealth is estimated to be around $400 billion. You heard it right, $400 billion today. In a short comparison, Mansa Musa's fortune, $400 billion, outweighs that of Elon Musk, $219 billion, Jeff Bezos, $171 billion, and Bill Gates, $118 billion. Mansa Musa's origins and subsequent reputation stem from his visit to Mecca in 1324. He traveled 6,500 kilometers with 60,000 people, including 12,000 slaves, to the sacred spot. He was escorted by about a hundred camels, each carrying over 100 kilograms of valuable metals. Mansa Musa began revitalizing cities in his reign after his return from Mecca. He constructed mosques and large public buildings in locations such as Gao and, most notably, Timbuktu. Mansa Musa died in 1337, and was succeeded by his sons. His skillful administration left his empire well off at the time of his death, but eventually, the empire fell apart. Well after his death, Mansa Musa remained ingrained in the imagination of the world as a symbol of fabulous wealth. However, his riches are only one part of his legacy, and he is also remembered for his Islamic faith, promotion of scholarship, and patronage of culture in Mali.